Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional at Stanford University Golf Course. Today I want to talk about hand design and your wedge design. You hear this all the time about great short game players. They have great hands, they have great touch, they have great feel. Well, how they use their hands really affects how the club is going into the golf ball. And if you can understand how your hand design and your wedge design match, you can be one of those players where they say, boy, that person has great touch, great hands around the green. Let me show you what I mean. When you watch a great short game player approach a shot, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to assess their lie, they're going to look at the situation, they're going to figure out what the shot's going to look like. And they may not even have a club in their hand, they may just be using their hand to get a feel for the shot. So notice, sometimes my right hand looks like this, where the wrist is bent back and the palm is down, and sometimes my right hand looks more like this, where the knuckles are down and the palm is facing the sky. Well, that is going to affect what the club face looks like when I get to hit the golf shot. So think about the way the wedge is designed. If I put my palm down, that's the same as taking loft off the club and using more of the leading edge. If I have my palm up or the knuckles facing the ground, that's the same as adding loft and using more bounce. So if I want to hit the low running shot, you're going to see me more palm down, de loft in the club. If I'm trying to hit a high soft shot over a bunker, I'm, you're going to see me more with the knuckles down and the palm facing more towards the sky. So if you understand how to use your hand, you will now understand how to use the club face in order to hit the appropriate shot. Let's start off by hitting that low shot. So again, I would approach it feeling that low shot. Notice my palm is down, the right wrist is bent back, I'm taking loft off the club. Let's hit a low runner. There's that low running shot. You can even see at the finish my palm is still pointing more down. Now let's say the situation is different where I have to hit a high soft shot. I'm going to approach the shot feeling more knuckles down, palm more up, and that will add loft to the club face and use more bounce. And now I've hit a nice high soft shot. So understanding how to use your hand is crucial to making sure the club face is in the correct position at impact to hit the appropriate golf shot. And if you know how to use your hand correctly, a lot of people are going to look at you and say, you have great hands around the green. 